so bloody space boy. Ten years, you think for what? We were playing some dumb beat up. And it was only Tom Jones. Tom Jones? You've heard of Tom Jones, right? Can we just play some real music? Seriously, guys? Okay, Speedy. Just completing the orbit now. You got a good sensor sweep? Good sweep here, Cap. Sharps found some sweet things in the data. Pay dirt. All right. For six months off, we're looking good, boys. Okay. I'm going to take her up into the higher orbit for the last sweep of the day. Smitty, what was that? Don't know, boss. Smitty, I'm a chief engineer. You're supposed to know. Okay. It's Audrey's way of telling you. Her days are numbered. Hey, hey, now don't be talking about Audrey like that. She's been good to us more than ten years. Oh, yeah. I just don't know how. Look, she, all she needs is just some tender, loving care. Now, if she was like, let's say, a larger ship, like, let's say, an Audrey 2. Or we would be like, Free me! Free me! All the time! And of course, you did name the ship after an ex-girlfriend. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which dumped you like a minging sack of... Hey, hey, it's, it's called turning a negative into a positive. You say so? Uh -oh. Sorry, Smitty, incoming message. Kate, there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Oh, it's been too long, Mike. You look good. Hey, are you still doing mineral survey business aboard the Audrey? Still going at it. What are you up to these days? Right now, the Hercules is very busy keeping the Parkesh pirates in check here. Well, corporate government wants to keep the trade lanes open. You know how it is. Fleet command isn't supposed to be subject to the whims of government, but they are under a lot of pressure. Well, just be careful. Marquez should never taken kindly to interference, and they can be pretty nasty. They wouldn't interfere themselves, we'd get along just fine. They set up a blockade at the Rendor Mining Colony. We're on our way there to check things out. It's always something. Well, this could work out well for you, though, Mike. Captain Boone gave me the go-ahead to contact you guys. How would you like to make some extra credits for an easy job? I'd want to run any job by my crew. They're not ones that turned out extra credits, especially with time off just around the corner. Thought so. So we picked up an anomaly on our long-range sensors. We did some sort of space disturbance. We can't make out much more than that. Fleet Command doesn't want to take the pressure off the Parkesh, so we're stuck here. You're the only other ship in the area with the equipment to do it. Now you'd be doing the job under standard Fleet Command contract terms. But it's a good deal, Mike. I like it. It's just what this crew needs right now. Good. The coordinates of the anomaly are, Mr. Sarvo? 8026 by 1165 by 2202. Thanks. Got it? Got it. Listen, Mike. As with any alien phenomenon, at the first sign of trouble, get your ship out of there. There could be park cash around as well. Just survey and report. Don't worry. We're big on self-preservation here. That's what I like to hear. Take care, Captain Bradley. I hope to hear from you soon. Same to you, Rhonda. Attention all hands, this is your fearless leader. There'll be a staff meeting in the lounge after the last survey of the day. Oh, joy. Engine sold it out. Shift it. One primitive to take my place is all that's left. Then I will be free. Free! Come to me. Come, come, come.
computer, begin recording. Recording. I hereby call this crew meeting to order. 182 days since departure. We'll begin with roll call. Captain Mike Bradley. Chief Engineer Aaron Smith. Chief Medical Officer Lyra Gonzalez. Daniel Witherspoon, Survey Specialist. Why are we doing these roll calls again? Computer, pause recording. Recording, pause. Because, again, CEO of Minecore is former Fleet Command. He likes to follow Fleet Command protocol, and I like keeping my job. I get that. But you realize the only way attendance is ever going to change at one of these meetings is if one of us dies? There's a happy thought. Hey, Cap, can we put Speedy in charge of morale? Hey, you know what would be a big morale booster? Some flight time. That'd be a big morale booster here. What? <laughs> Speedy. Do we really need to go over the incident at Starport 17 again? Anyone can have a bad day. Firing thrusters while the ship is still docked is not just having a bad day. It was a minor mishap! That sure wasn't a minor repair. It could have happened to anyone! And yet, that is the only time it has ever happened there. I ask you, are we docked now? Once again, you've completely missed the point. Hey, Cap, help me out. Can I get a little flight time? Uh... No. Fine. When I get back home, I'll talk to my therapist about my depression, my lack of career development here. A mineral survey ship this far from home isn't the best place for career development. Stifling continues. Can we move on now? All the most for tonight. Now we're getting somewhere. Computer, continue recording. I move that alcohol be so at every meeting. From now on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Smitty, you're bad enough sober. And what is that supposed to mean? Computer, stop and delete recording. Recording, stop, file delete. <sighs> we go through this every trip out, gang. When you're the end of a long mission and we're all getting a little bit cranky. A little bit? <laughs> okay, more than a little bit. How about some extra pay to take the edge off? Hey, extra pay is always a morale booster here. What's the plan? I just heard from Commander Cage of the Hercules. Cage, huh? Eh? Well, hey, that is one battle hardened lady. She's had more than her share of casualties, too. You hear the color of the black wood? I don't want to hear it, Speedy. I was making an observation. Well, keep that observation to yourself. Fine. I had enough angst for my therapy session back home anyway. She gets a bad rap. She's always acted with honor and bravery, which is more than sometimes can be said for fleet command. And she's my friend. Fair enough. Let's get back to the offer of a little Fleet Command contract work. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's good pay. And it's simple, too. We just need to survey a space anomaly and report. That's all. What kind of space anomaly? If they knew that, they wouldn't need us to go check it out. I mean, really, who cares? Look, forget it. Look, I'll take a little Fleet Command pay. A little sweep and leak job any day of the week. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Exactly. Am I right? All right. Well, let's wrap up here then, and we'll be on our way in four hours. Right. Let's see. Too bad you weren't able to get that meeting recorded. It's such a breach of Fleet Command protocol. It's okay, Speedy. I mean, it's not like I tried to fire thrusters while still docked to Starport. Oh, you never let that go! Nice. Hey, um, thanks for sharing the load handling Speedy back there. They're all restless. They'll be okay once we're back home and they get six months off. Hey, um... Oh, we get a little uh, jump on some more some relaxation. What? I can't get a little preview? You sound just like Speedy. I'm a little restless too. I get that way after six months on a ship named after your ex-girlfriend. You know, we've been over this a hundred times. It has nothing to do with her. It has to do with moving forward, leaving the past behind. I've been okay with this before. It's it isn't just that. We were talking about marriage before we left, and we haven't talked about it since. It's its like you're married to this ship and a treasure hunting. 
Do you even notice me anymore? Of course I do. Mike, you notice that football more than you notice me. I'm just like, focused on my work. I mean, you know, I do have responsibilities as captain of the ship. Oh, so now I'm a distraction? <sighs> Very beautiful distraction. I care about more than anything else. But still a distraction. No. <sighs> Maybe I could have worded that better. Look, maybe it is nothing more than me being restless like the others. What? Let's just stick to business. For now. We can work this out when we get home. It won't be that long. I need time to think. You're right. Okay. And if that's what you want, okay. But when you're ready to talk, I'll be here. Anytime. Mike throws that football at my head one more time. Just one more time. Personal journal entry, Mike Bradley, Captain. She needs time to think, she says. Time to think? I thought we were doing good. I really thought we were doing good. She goes and she pulls this. I mean, it's my job. I'm captain of the ship. I've got responsibilities. You know, when she puts your duties as chief medical officer first, I don't say she's not paying attention to me. I don't even feel like I can talk to Smitty about this. Everybody's just been so on edge lately. Six months out here is just too long. You know, I'm glad everybody lightened up at news of the fleet contract at least, but I just, I don't want this affecting the crew negatively. You know, we've, we've come so far over the past few years, really come together as a team. Easily the best crew the Audrey's ever had, and even Smitty would admit that. We've just, we've gelled these past couple years. I mean, I'd say at this point, we've surveyed more planets than any other sweepers team for Minecart, and it's a damn sight better than working for Fleet these days. I don't know how Philip does it. You know, he says he's going to have command of his own Fleet comm ship by the end of the year. I mean, he probably will, but when my tour ended with Fleet, I could not wait to get out from under their thumb. I don't know how he does it. Props to you, big bro. Phil was even saying the whole family's getting together next month at uh, Dad's ranch on Payless Prime. I was thinking of finally introducing Lear to everybody, but, you know, we kind of have to still be in a relationship. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we do need time to think. Maybe I need time to think. <sighs> time to throw the football at Speedy. Yeah, you know, this contract's just what we need. A little more time, it's easy money, and we're back home. Right then. Ship's personal log. Chief Engineer and Smith recording. Well, here we are. About to do one last thing, you know, checking out a little anomaly somewhere out there before we uh, head into the barn, you know, doing a favor for Commander Cage and uh, Fleet Command. Shouldn't be too bad, I mean, it's just a nice little sweeping leap. So, basically, we're in, we're out, no walking about, then we're home for six months, which is good. Very good thing. Really good thing. I mean, between Speedy, 
pranging the Audrey a bit. Even in Starport 17. Good lord, if he, I, if he gets within another four feet of my controls one more time, just one more time, I'm putting him up in an EV suit while we're going slipstream. And I'm going to put him within inches, just inches of the damn shield so he gets an idea what not to do when doing thrusters in space dock. That aside, we all need to, we all need to have time. Yeah. I mean, between Lyra and Mike and all dog and cats and, and all that and ship getting all dodgy on the shifts. <sighs> yeah, the downtime will do us all good. That's all. All we better downtime. Right. Spit out. side and whatever lies beyond it. That's not going to make for a very informative report. At least we get paid. I'd like to make that pay worthwhile for Fleet Command if I can. Hmm. It seems to deflect most of the energy from the sensors though, rather than letting it pass through. You suggested a bail. Could it be a cloaked Pakesh ship? Whoa, whoa, hey, guys, no. No, I am not dealing with any Parkesh. No, a cloaked Parkesh vessel wouldn't be detectable on sensors. This is. So, nothing more to go on? Well, the energy deflection rate is not 100%. Fine-tuning, I can get an energy reading from beyond it, but it is so faint. I can't make out what it is even at maximum power. To get a better reading, we'd have to get closer. How much closer? I'd say decrease the distance by 90%. But is it wise to get that close? No sign of any trouble so far. I don't see why not. I just have a bad feeling about this. I always get a bad feeling, Lyra. Yeah, Speedy. Like, you nearly jumped at the word Parkesh. I'll go take the ship up to the front door. I don't understand it. 
can make anything out about the energy source itself. These energy readings aren't like anything I've ever seen before. Oh, wait, wait, wait. wait. The energy of the... It, it's moving through the barrier. Let's get out of here, Mike. It's coming directly toward us. <laughs> 